Hey everybody, it's Matt here. So in today's video, we are heading down to my local Lego store to try and see if we can find any of the sets that were released yesterday, March 1st. Now, there's a bunch of sets that I've had my eye on that uh, are due to release, such as the Star Wars sets, uh, the R2-D2, the Taintive, um, the Invisible Hand, and also we've got the some of the F1 sets like the McLaren, uh, the Speed Champions McLaren, the Mercedes Technic F1 set, uh, so a whole bunch of sets that I'm really keen on. Fingers crossed they do have some or all of them in stock. And there is a few other sets that I've had my eye on that have been out for quite a while. So we're just gonna see if they have those as well. So before we head down to the Lego store, if you're new to the channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button down below. Also give this video a big thumbs up if you did like it. And remember, drop a comment down below in the comment section and let me know which set from today's haul was your favorite. All right, everybody, we have made it to the Lego store. Let's go check out some of the March 1st releases and what we can get our hands on. So they've definitely stocked up very nicely in the Lego store. They've got the Natural History Museum. They've got some of the icons, such as the Corvette, the Tranquil Garden. We've got the Medieval Town Square, which is a new release. I think that looks pretty, pretty good. And then we've got the Icons Soccer Field. Bit of mixed reviews on that one. And we've got the Mercedes AMG Technic. We're definitely here for one of those. This is an, a March 1st release. And they've also got the Formula E McLaren. And they've got some nice displays as well here. They've got the Bugatti. And they've got the telephone box up there. A family tree. Got quite a lot of nice sets on display here today. But my main goal is to try and get my hands, like I said, on these March 1st sets. Over this side here, we've got plenty of Star Wars stuff. We've already got the X-Wing Starfighter. They've got the Venador in stock. I've been wanting to get this one for a while, so maybe we'll add that to the list for today's haul. And we've got the new Republic E-Wing. Haven't seen any March 1st sets just yet. Let's have a look down here. We've got some of the micro fighters. And we've found one of our March 1st release sets in the Star Wars line. We've got the new R2-D2. So I think we're definitely gonna have to grab that. We've already Looking at the AT TE Walker. I think we'll add one of those. I've been wanting that for a while. That has been out for a very long time and I think that'll look really, really good on display in our Star Wars collection. And we do need to buy a bunch of sets as well to add into my new office display. So I think maybe we'll grab that as well. And any more March 1st sets, let's have a look. I think I spotted another one, we've got the Taintive. Awesome, so we'll have to grab that. Hopefully we can find the Manilium Falcon and the Invisible set as well. So some of the March 1st stuff has been a little bit difficult to get, but if we can get our hands on all or most of them, that'll be really, really good. Batman Mill Tumblr, we've got the Shadow Box. So a lot of Marvel and DC along this wall here. Our Harry Potter section. So they've still got Diagon Alley and the Hogwarts Collector's Edition set and the Hogwarts Castle and Ground set. And I'll be honest with you, I've actually had my eye on this one. We've got the larger 
uh, Hogwarts Castle, but I think this looks a lot better and will look really good on display. So um, again, I'm not a really big Harry Potter fan. I don't know much about Harry Potter in the sense of watching all the movies and everything, but I do really like some of the sets that have been coming out. So I think we'll have to grab one of these. So we'll start getting our shopping collection in a minute once we've checked out the rest of the store. All our friends stuff over here. They've got a nice friends area on display as well. And then we've got some more Disney stuff and here's the new Snow White set that's just released as well mixed feelings about this one it is a great set but for the price that it is and it's not a complete modular as such a little bit torn on that so i'll have to think about that one whether i'm going to put that in the collection or not the little mermaid sh uh, clamshell as well and then we've got a few other smaller Disney sets and Moana sets. They've actually got the Mermaid one on display. Fairly decent size. All the, your main characters. So I guess it's a pretty decent set to have as a display if you're into the Little Mermaid. And then over here, we have some more Harry Potter sets. The new talking sorting hat is just released as well. That looks pretty cool. And then we've got some of the Harry Potter stuff on display like Diagon Alley, the Gringot Bank, which looks pretty, pretty cool. Pretty, pretty. <laughs> so they've separated all the Diagon Alley and the Gringot Bank. And I do like the fact that you actually put this and connect it up with modulars. I think they've done a great job in that regard, being able to separate the two. And you can still have this as a display, which looks pretty good on its own. All right, so we've looked around the Lego store. Let's start getting some of our March 1st sets that we came here to get, and also a few other sets that I've had my eye on. So we're gonna start off with the Taintive, one of our March 1st sets. Also, we're going to go the new R2-D2. So we've got the original UCS version. Uh, so we def definitely need to get the smaller version. So we're going to grab that. And I've been eyeing the ATTE for a while, so I think we'll have to grab that, add that into the collection as well. So let's go to the other side of the store and see what else we're going to get. All right, so I'm a big F1 fan. Uh, some of you may know that. So I definitely need to get the AMG Mercedes. So we're gonna grab two, two of these. My brother is a big F1 fan as well. He doesn't know I'm actually gonna get him one and surprise him with it. So I'll get myself one and my brother one. So I think he's gonna be really happy about that. All right, let's go see what else we're gonna get. I've had to come back to this, the Venador. I really, really, if it's, a, if it's a UCS ship that I really want, it's the UCS Venador. Should I? Should I not? We've already started buying a lot of our March 1st sets. Uh, they've got the Manillion Falcon for me as well, which I'm really excited about. And they've also got the Taintive Escape. So I'll put that aside. I don't know. Should I? Shouldn't I? I don't know. We'll see. Let's keep going. All right, so the Hogwarts Castle and Ground set, we need to grab as well. I think this is gonna look awesome on display and once we add a like here to it, it's gonna look even better. So I think that's everything for our March 1st haul. Let's go pay for everything and go back to the Lego room. Did you want an extra bag? No, that'll be fine. That will be no problem. All right, 
We've done our Lego shopping. Let's go back to the Lego room and check out what we got. Okay, everybody, we are back in the studio, aka the Lego room, and I'm really happy with the March 1st release sets that we were able to pick up today. Can't wait to show you guys. Uh, we're gonna go through all of them individually real quick. And then I also did pick up a few sets that were not part of the March 1st release, but I thought they were fitting to add into the haul video. One of them in particular, which I'm really excited about. Can't wait to show you. I'm leaving that right to the end. Uh, so let's jump right into it because I'm too excited to just wait and keep talking. So the first one we picked up is the Taintive. So the 25 years of Star Wars, um, they obviously are starting to do a whole line of these. So um, grabbed the Taintive, uh, which I can't wait to add into my collection or display. Following that, we've got the Invisible Hand. So again, they're all just bringing these, uh, this line out of mini version of these ships. So I think that's fantastic that, they're doing, that they are doing that, I should say. Um, for some people that missed out on the UCS versions or they don't have any space to fit the UCS versions, I think bringing these ones out, which still are packed with a ton of detail, um, I think is works great for anybody that's wanting to collect them and they're a decent price as opposed to the UCS versions. Uh, we also grabbed a couple of the Taintive Escapes. Um, I want to do a bit of a custom mock or add these two together and customize it, add a light kit to it or some lights to it. Uh, very similar to what we did with the Dark Trooper attack that came out a couple of years ago. So uh, this one obviously is a little bit bigger uh, and it has a little bit more detail than the Dark Trooper attack set. And they've also made it to be able to already connect two of them without having to do any modifications whatsoever. But uh, you know what I'm like, we're gonna have to modify this and recreate it, which I can't wait. So. Had to grab two of those. Uh, the next one we did get was the R2-D2. Now I do have the original UCS version, but when I saw that they were releasing this, um, I thought why not grab a second one? It is obviously a little bit smaller, but it's still packed with a great amount of detail. It's a reasonable price uh, compared to the UCS re-release that they did uh, about, a year, about a year or two ago. It also comes with a plaque, so very, very cool to have uh, as a display piece, so we grabbed one of those as well. Now, the other set that we grabbed is obviously the Millennium Falcon. Uh, again, a little bit higher of a price point compared to the other two, but again, with all the detail that it comes with, um, and again, part of that line. Um, now, the other March 1st release we got is the AMG Patronus F1 car. You guys know I'm a big F1 fan. I mentioned it early in the video. Uh, just, I hate Technic though. You know, I'm not a Technic person. The only Technic set that I have apart from this one now is the McLaren version of this that came out again a couple of years ago. So um, when, they, when I saw this come out, I had to get it. Now I did end up picking another one up, a second copy, and that is going to be uh, for my brother. Now my brother does not collect Lego. He's not into Lego at all. Um, in fact, this will probably be his first Lego set. I wanted to get this for him and surprise him with it because um, he's a huge F1 fan like I am. He loves Mercedes, the team Mercedes and Lewis Hamilton is his favorite driver. So I believe he's gonna attempt, or when I told him about um, the Mercedes cars coming out as a Lego, he was like, I really wanna get one. So I'm assuming he's gonna to attempt to try and build it once I give it to him, uh, unless he just sort of asks me to help him or probably build the whole thing. But yeah, we're gonna surprise him with this, uh, like I mentioned in the video earlier as well. So I can't wait to give him that. So we grabbed two copies of those. Now, uh, as I just mentioned, we did come back from Queensland and did a little holiday, came back last night. While I was there, uh, we went down to the local Lego store that they have over there in Queensland and I was able to grab one of the McLaren sets. They didn't have this at my local Lego store today. So I was happy that I found it a few days ago before the March 1st release. Um, and again, have to add that to my F1 collection. The other set that I did get while I was there because I have had my eye on it. It's not a March 1st release. This has been out for quite a while. It's almost gonna retire pretty much if it's on online to retire this year. 
My local Lego store didn't have that today, but I found this a few days ago when I was over in Queensland and it's the Empress Throne. So really love this set, uh, complete with a light kit. This is gonna look awesome. Uh, I do have the original uh, jewel, uh, final jewel they used to, they called it. Um, so I do have the play scale of that, but this one is just more of a collector uh, piece. Uh, now these last three sets are not ones that came out yesterday. Um, again, these are some sets that I really wanted to get uh, for a while and I thought since we were out doing a March 1st haul, I would grab these. So the first one is the AT-ST, sorry, A-T-T-E. There's so many A-T-A-T's, A-T-S-T, A-T-T-E. So we got the A-T-T-E. Uh, really love this. They had it on display at the Lego store today. So I can't wait to add this on to my shelf. I'm thinking of grabbing a second copy uh, just to sort of have them as an army um, and a bunch of clones and just, uh, yeah, I, I think this looks great. So really happy that we picked that up. And another set we picked up is the Hogwarts Castle and Grounds set. Now, I do have the UCS version of the Hogwarts Castle, but honestly, I think this looks a hell of a lot better. I love how they've done it sort of as a, as a base plate scale um, display. They've got you know all the water and everything going around the grounds. Uh, now I have seen the light kit that Light My Bricks have done and it makes it look even more incredible than what it is. So again, I'm not a Harry Potter fan. A lot of you guys know I don't collect Harry Potter. Um, I've just started getting a few sets because they actually do look really great on display. So yeah, I thought, you know what, let's grab that um, and add that to our collection. We're dropping Lego boxes everywhere. Now the last set in the haul, I've left it to lucky last. Um, I'm gonna have to make some space for this one. I'm really excited to show you guys. So just stick with me. Let's get some of these sets out of the way. The last set that we picked up today is, boom, the UCS Venator. <laughs> um, yeah, I was arming and narring. My wife said, you know what, just get it, add it to your collection. This looks incredible, guys. Um, if you haven't got one, I definitely recommend to get it. It just looks absolutely amazing. I've seen a lot of people already build it and display it. And it just looks so good. Uh, I'm definitely going to light this up. Again, it just makes it look that much cooler with the lights. I haven't figured out where I'm going to display it yet because I have no room in the, in the Lego room. I'm thinking of adding it uh, in my office at work because uh, we are doing some shelving, uh, which we're going to show you in another video. So... It's either shuffle some stuff in this room or I'll just build it and take it to my office at work. But nonetheless, we've got it. I can't wait to build it. It's, it is gonna take me a while. Um, it's gonna be on my backlog of to-do to -do list. So let me show you guys now, uh, see if we can fit everything onto the table and give you guys an overview of the entire haul that we did uh, and um, show you guys how it looks. So let's go. Okay, so our March 1st release haul on one little table. Really happy that I was able to get all the Star Wars stuff today and even more excited or happy to be able to grab the Venador. Well guys, I have a lot of building to do. I have no idea which one I wanna begin first. What do you guys recommend? Which one do you think I should start off by building? You can let me know in the comments below. But that pretty much does it for today's video. So until next time, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Stay safe, happy building, and we'll catch you in the next one. See ya.